3. The natural physics of water is to find and maintain its level. If Earth were a giant sphere tilted, wobbling, and hurtling through infinite space, then truly flat, consistently level surfaces would not exist here. But since Earth is in fact an extended flat plane, this fundamental physical property of fluids finding and remaining level is consistent with experience and common sense. 4. Rivers run down to sea level, finding the easiest course, north, south, east, west, and all other intermediary directions over the earth at the same time. If earth were truly a spinning ball, then many of these rivers would be impossibly flowing uphill. For example, the Mississippi, in its 3,000 miles, would have to ascend 11 miles before reaching the Gulf of Mexico. 5. One portion of the Nile River flows for a 1,000 miles with a fall of only one foot. Parts of the West African Congo, according to the supposed inclination and movement of the ball earth, would be sometimes running uphill and sometimes down. This would also be the case for the Parana, Paraguay, and other long rivers. 6. If earth were a ball 25,000 miles in circumference, as NASA and modern astronomy claim, spherical trigonometry dictates the surface of all standing water must curve downward an easily measurable 8 inches per mile multiplied by the square of the distance. This means along a 6 mile channel of standing water the earth would dip 6 feet on either end from the central peak. Every time such experiments have been conducted, however, standing water has proven to be perfectly level.